Hey guys, today I'll show you a zombie horror film named Blood Quantum. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a philosophical text talking about sacrifices and demon daughters. The scene then shifts to the Red Crow Indian Reservation in 1981. A bald man named Baldy is seen on his Tesla boat riding the waves till he reaches the shore. He has caught a smelly fish, so he takes out the intestines to prepare a meal, but then it starts to move. Soon enough, the rest of the caught fish also start hopping around. Now we move to an animated sequence showing a pregnant woman. The shot quickly transitions back to the real world, where we are shown unconventional angles covering the town and the waters surrounding it. A cop car reaches a cabin where a man in a hat is awaiting a cop named Trailer. He tells Trailer about a sick dog that belongs to Trailer's ex-wife, Babe. Trailer puts the dog down after some hesitation, and then he goes to meet Babe. She tells him about their son, Turdmaster, who has been arrested along with his shady half-brother named Shady. Trailer is upset to hear this, so he radios his assistant to confirm the news. The assistant also mentions Baldy, who is revealed to be Trailer's dad. After this chat, Trailer goes to see Baldy, who asks him to check out the gutted fishes in his box. Trailer is shocked to see the dead fish moving around, and things get even worse when the dead dog in his car's trunk jumps out to attack him for dog food. Trailer shoots down the dog, after which Baldy burns it along with the zombie fish. Trailer tells Baldy to be careful, and then he goes to get Turdmaster, who is chilling with Shady. They get freaked out when they see a white inmate puking his guts out in the holding cell. Trailer and Babe reach the station and meet a lazy cop who doesn't seem to be keen on working. After Trailer forces him to move his smelly ass, the lazy cop comments on Trailer's son, Turdmaster, that he gets arrested more often than a night lady. Babe doesn't have time for this bullshit, so she goes to wait in the car and the men talk about Turdmaster's crimes. It turns out that Turdmaster was engaging in a battle of the turds from on top of a bridge. He had attacked an innocent lady with his turd bomb and spooked her out. Trailer and his lazy colleague go to Turdmaster's cell, but find it smellier than his turds. The puking victim spits out more blood, after which he suddenly transforms into a raging zombie. The lazy cop goes to subdue the zombie, but gets attacked and bitten. Turdmaster also gets bitten in the process, and the lazy cop actively beats the puking zombie, after which he is taken away. However, the zombie is shown to still be alive after the thrashing. Now Babe takes Turdmaster in the car, and he complains about getting bitten, but she doesn't care. Babe tells Turdmaster to make better decisions in life, but he only talks about taking care of Shady. Meanwhile, Trailer talks to his son Shady about how bad his day has been going. Turdmaster goes to the clinic and meets his white girlfriend, Blonde, who is pregnant but has come here to reverse it. She notices the bite mark on his hand, but he tells her not to change the topic. Turdmaster and Blonde hold hands, and then Babe is seen working because she is a nurse. Babe is told that there are a lot of bite cases today and things only get worse when an infected white nurse goes crazy and starts attacking everyone. Meanwhile, Trailer goes to meet the pregnant white girlfriend of a man named Bulky, who is complaining about her being sick. Trailer scolds Bulky, after which he goes to see Bulky's girlfriend, but learns that she has become a zombie. The zombie girlfriend is eating her own unborn child and attacks the cop without zombie mercy. A tense battle follows, but Trailer gets bitten and runs away. He gets into the car and covers his wound, but the zombie girlfriend shows up to flex her sexy body without pixelating it, and attacks Bulky, possibly wanting to make zombie babies with him. Trailer has had enough, so he gets out of the car and ends the zombie girlfriend with a giant stick. Then, he radios his assistant for help, but is told to avoid getting bitten at any cost. It's a bit too late for that, so Trailer rushes to the hospital with Bulky, who is panicking. They find chaos everywhere, as a white man turns into a zombie in front of them. Luckily, he's given a headshot, after which Trailer saves his son from a nurse zombie. He struggles to hold off the nurse zombie, so a man named Big G arrives with his big chainsaw and brutally rips through her, sending her straight to meet zombie Satan. Nothing seems to be making any sense, but then Baldy also arrives and burns down the zombies with Big G. He chants a holy prayer and then we move six months into the future. The zombie apocalypse seems to be in full effect, and we see Shady taunting a trapped soldier zombie. He's with an assistant named Lady Bro, and they talk about getting hormone relief in exchange for packaged treats. 
That's when a group of white survivors enters the area. One of them includes a man begging Shady and his group to help his daughter, who has been bitten. That's when we see Trailer and his son Turdmaster, who are leading the survivor camp and have also survived their zombie bites. This is because indigenous people seem to be immune to the zombie virus, unlike white people. The survivor dad begs the team to save his daughter because he thinks they can cure zombie infections. However, his daughter has stopped breathing, which means her transformation is imminent. Trailer tells everyone to go inside, and we also see Blonde, who has chosen to carry on with her pregnancy. Now, Trailer has a word with Big G in their language, before he lifts an axe to end the infected girl exactly when she becomes a zombie. The survivor dad is heartbroken, but Lady Bro tells him to get it together, and also burns a cloth that has his daughter's blood on it. She sends him to get checked up, and then we see Babe examining another one of the white survivors named Tomboy. Babe wants to know all kinds of things, such as whether Tomboy ate fish, dogs, or even people. Tomboy gets angry over such questions, but Babe tells her to calm down because she's not the one in control. The most important question is whether Tomboy got bitten, and she answers no. However, Babe doesn't check her body and allows her to use the washroom. That's when we learn that Tomboy has indeed been bitten. To make matters worse, the survivor dad seems to have killed himself, and then he turns into a zombie as Tomboy checks up on him. Now, we see Trailer and his team telling us how they're blocking off the survivor base against zombies. The problem is that there are too many zombies coming in, and this means that their ammo is getting exhausted. We see how the team is handling zombies at the bridge by using a shredding truck. However, the key goal is to wait out the zombie apocalypse over the winter. For that, the team needs gas, and they discuss how to make arrangements for that. At the same time, we learn that deer and moose are safe to eat, but not any other kind of meat. As Trailer continues with his explanations, he is told about the zombie dad, so he goes to deal with it using his machete. Then, Blonde has a word with Turdmaster regarding his messed up family. Blonde is upset because she feels that her baby is a zombie who is eating her inside out. Turdmaster tries to comfort her, using his words first and muscles later, but Blonde says that such an incident has already happened once. Despite their hardships, Turdmaster tells Blonde that he loves her, and they kiss each other without using their smelly tongues. Elsewhere, Trailer goes to Babe, because the zombie dad ended up injuring him. Babe takes off his shirt and treats his wounds, after which they say something romantic in their language. On the other hand, we find Shady who is getting drunk and is also upset because the camp is allowing white refugees inside. He feels that it only takes one rogue zombie to disrupt the peace of the camp. But Trailer remains adamant on saving people. Shady walks away like a cranky baby and then the others prepare to make a trip scavenging for survivors. Turdmaster goes to talk to his brother Shady and leaves Blonde alone in bed, high and dry. Shady is busy getting his greens and Turdmaster asks for a puff after which Shady tells him that he needs to become a good dad. The two brothers have a brief chat about priorities, after which Shady tells his brother a story about how he was tongue massaging a smelly girl's lips while she was gushing blood. Shady had then visited the lazy cop at the police station, but since he had blood on his lips, he was arrested over the suspicion of coming from a fight. Turdmaster thinks it's a ridiculous story, but Shady is only interested in drinking a soda mixed with some hormone enhancer. Shady then goes to flirt hormones with Tomboy, so Turdmaster talks to the dealer about the zombie apocalypse. He's told that the zombies are like a curse, and it's not necessary for the indigenous people to be completely immune against them, because they are still dealing with the effects of the apocalypse. Later, Turdmaster finds Shady crying like a chicken, because Tomboy has become a zombie and is eating his Shady sausage. Now, Trailer, Baldy, Bulky, and Big G talk about some zombie victims and load up their guns and chainsaws, they move towards a garage where we can hear zombie noises. The team lures out a zombie and Trailer shoots it down. Then Big G enters the garage with his big chainsaw and rips through all the remaining zombies. Trailer explores the area but finds a half-shredded zombie and has to double tap it. He fears there are other zombies, so he goes to investigate a cargo room. Luckily, Baldy has taken care of all the zombies inside it. Meanwhile, Turdmaster takes Shady to Babe, hoping to save his bleeding sausage. However, Shady loses all sense of reason and lets his white hatred get the better of him. He stabs Turdmaster because he blames him for allowing white refugees into the camp, which has eventually made him sausageless. Turdmaster gets tied up, after which Shady and his drug dealer free zombie Tomboy. She goes on to attack the camp members, most of whom are white, so they get infected and turn into zombies. 
Blonde and Babe have a brief chat, but they quickly realize what's going on when Turdmaster rushes inside and reveals Shady's madness. A white survivor loses his mind and tries to escape, but gets eaten by zombies outside. Also, Blonde seems to be near her due date, as can be seen by the blood on her hands. Trailer and his team return to the camp and find it overrun by zombies. Trailer radios Babe and learns of her situation, so he creates a quick plan with his team. They use Big G to check the status of the invasion, and then Bulky attracts the zombies using a zombie song. While Bulky leads the zombies away, the three of them enter the camp and realize there are more zombies inside. Trailer tells Big G to go get the truck and warns him against using his gun, unless it's absolutely necessary. After taking down some zombies, Trailer and his father Baldy rescue their family and some other survivors. After which, they try to lead them to safety in the truck. However, some zombies break free and attack the team, so Trailer has to use his gun for protection. Unfortunately, the gunshots alert the other zombies, so they attack the survivors. Big G drives some of the survivors to safety, but one of them falls down and is eaten immediately. However, the group is trapped inside a compartment. The zombies keep charging at the door, so Trailer decides to sacrifice a few bites to allow the others to escape in Bulky's minicar. Unfortunately, he cannot be saved and is sent to the heavens after a brutal attack. The others make it to safety and avoid the zombies, but cry their feelings away. After that, they decide to take some boats to safer land. Now we see an old lady being threatened by Shady and his men to radio the others for help. Baldy is forced to respond to this, but Shady frees a zombie, which goes on to eat the innocent lady in a horrible scene. Things look gloomy and uncertain, as some hostages are doused with fuel inside a chapel. The drug dealer sings a song, while the hostages cower in fear, as they are being prepared for a zombie meal. Lady Bro is also helping the drug dealer, but then Baldy shows up and slashes him without mercy. He demands to know where Shady is, but it's too late as we see Shady stabbing Big G, who is guarding Babe and Blonde. Shady acts like a jerk and mistreats Blonde, after which he goes to unleash a zombie upon her. Babe threatens to shoot her son Shady, but delays for too long and only lands a side shot. The zombie gets freed and it attacks Blonde, eventually biting her before Turdmaster can come to the rescue and chop off its head. Now, Baldy makes Turdmaster stab his brother Shady after which he shoots in the air to trigger the zombies. They arrive and tear through Shady in a brutal scene, but also go after the survivors who rush to their boats. One of the boats catches fire, but Bulky arrives with two Tesla boats to save Turdmaster and the others. The group splits up with Turdmaster, Babe, and Blonde in one boat, and the others taking the second boat. However, Baldy stays behind to fight off the zombies. He puts up a good fight and slays a lot of them, but ends up getting bitten, although it is somewhat hinted that he has survived the ordeal. Time passes by and now we see Blonde giving birth in the boat after a painful sequence. Turdmaster and Babe are overjoyed and they give Blonde her fat baby. However, she worries that she will turn into a zombie and attack the child, so she urges her son to shoot her blonde body down. In an emotional sequence, Turdmaster ends his girlfriend's life and cries exactly like his own baby. The movie ends with the fates of Turdmaster, Babe, and the Baby Unknown. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.